Hello, everyone, and welcome to All Games No Masters, the GMless branch of the RPG Exploration Society of here at Saving Throw Show. Uh, welcome to all of our explorers. We are so excited to have you here. Tonight, we are going to be starting our next and final game chosen specifically by one of the four of us, Dialect. Dialect is a beautiful game about creating language for a culture that is dying. Uh, so you're going to see some very interesting things happening over the next couple of hours. Um, and uh, before we get started with introductions for everybody, I just want to let you know that we are currently on episode, uh, I believe, six of nine? Seven of nine? Seven of nine. Oh, oh, we are a Borg. No, six. Is no. it six? No, it's, mm -hmm. it's seven, because we have <laughs> we eight next week and then our last episode, nine. So we are on yeah. seven of nine. We are we are Borg. Uh, resistance is futile. Um, you will be assimilated. Anyways, um, but there is the potential... Uh, well, sorry. I need to rewind that back. We are on episode six of eight, potentially of nine, uh -huh. and that is if you help us hit our goal. I'm being very hopeful over here. Can you can you hear how hope I said seven of nine because I'm really hoping for that ninth episode. Ways you can help us get that ninth episode is to help us hit our overarching goal of one thousand dollars donated or four hundred subs, uh, either created or gifted, and um, yeah, that will unlock an extra episode. Uh, we also have our message in a bottle, which has been named something different specifically for this show in theme with our dialect episodes and what would that be uh facilitator yeah hey guys uh i i would say that for this uh this game it's going to be message uh like carrier pigeon message oh we doing carrier pigeon mm -hmm. Should be fun. Yeah. At some point the carrier penguins and the carrier pigeons must have a fight. I think that's just that's just gonna have to be how it is. Uh carrier pigeons it is. If you'd like to send us a carrier pigeon, not a carrier penguin, a carrier pigeon, uh please uh either give us your money. Thank you so much. Please give us your money. It's either fifteen dollars. 1500 uh, bits or five gifted subs in order to send us a carrier pigeon not a penguin a pigeon like i said they will have to duke it out at some point and please also make sure to check out our sponsor die hard dice uh who have a, a wide assortment of math rock clicky clackies over there uh they uh have dice sets to suit every whim and all reasonably priced uh enter the code uh, exclamation point DH dice in chat or go straight to dieharddice.com and enter natural 20 to save 10% on your dice purchase. Um, I know everyone here with the exception of one Max Isaacson is a dice math rock clicky clacky oh, yeah, no. <laughs> person. No, Max Max is a digital dice roller and we shun him. We, we shun the non-believer. It's fine. <laughs> You're on your burn. Okay. All right. Let's go I ahead and go the around truth. the horn and introduce everybody, starting with our facilitator for the day. Uh, Randy, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, everybody. My name is Randy Alvarenga, and I am the facilitator of this game. I won't go into the character I'm playing yet, because we'll do that with you shortly. <laughs> uh, Amanda, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, um, I am Amanda Powers. And last <laughs> but certainly not least, Max. Hi, I'm Max Isaacson. I'm the guy who hates dice. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Aki, not of course. True. And it's not true. He does like dice. It's just that when you have to roll 40 of them at a time, you might as well get a dice roller. Yeah. No, then 10 at a time. You just go 10. Okay, next 10. Unbelievable. Okay. Unbelievable. <laughs> Cruel. It's fun. So it is very satisfying to roll the click clacks. All right, let's go ahead and get started on today's episode of Dialect, All which we right. will be playing in Roll20 today with our facilitator, Randy, take it away. All right, so welcome everybody to this really exciting, really cool game, um, Dialect, which as Aki said earlier, is the game about a group of people known as an isolation and the language that they create and speak that is sort of what ties them together. Um, it's about the rise of that 
and then eventually the fall of that language. So you'll get to see that over the course of two episodes, which we're really excited about. So, so it ends happily, right? It's like a happy ending it, is, is, is what there's I'm hearing. a possibility like, that the I language mean, ends, but whatever happens, who knows? So like we stay, all stay tuned. <laughs> we link arms and just skip off into the sunset. It's definitely the Wizard of Oz. That's yeah, definitely yeah, a yeah. metaphor for death, but cool, cool. Get ready. Yeah. Um, anyway, <laughs> so what's going on is um, usually in this game, the way it would start is that you would g gather your friends, you would talk about sort of what kind of game you're looking for, and then you would pull out this really beautiful, awesome book by Thorny Games, um, which has some, just, just, just one second, allow me to just show you some art because that is just stunning. That it's just beautiful. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a beautiful great. book. And so, so once you talk with your friends and you do that, there are different backdrops. And usually you would talk about all of the backdrops and decide what you want to do. We've saved you guys a little bit of time there. We wanted to pick the backdrop um, that we'll be playing today. And we've also done another step, which I'll talk about in a moment. So to begin, I would like to read sort of the story that you're players and I have also uh, decided that we wanted to tell today. The story is called Forbidden Children by Jay Lee. We are dozens of children cast off by society. We live in secret among the cracks of a massive, uncaring city, defying the odds to make a living for ourselves. The world outside does not care about us, will not help us, and cannot be trusted. We count on no one but each other. Deep in the minds of an asteroid is where we find our group of isolationists. And that is sort of the world that we just roughly decided to choose. Right. I'm going to pause this for just yeah. a moment. Yeah. Uh, because a certain uh, person who none of us know definitely none of us know uh uh just donated fifty dollars um i feel like this colin tiam powers kelly <laughs> i feel like they they deserve some like a joke name? for the fifty dollar donate col col uh all jokes aside, thank you so much, Amanda's wonderful husband, for the donation of fifty dollars. We appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Amanda's husband. That is who he is. <laughs> I think he knows that. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks, Ooh. baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Once you've picked your backdrop in this game, the next step is for you and the other players to come up with what are called aspects. These are very essential because they will become the pillars of, uh, well, one, they're the pillars of your isolationist group, the things that bind you together, but they're also what we'll be using throughout the game to create the language that will fuel the stories we'll be telling tonight. And so um, we've already, talk through the creation of these three but i will move all of the players and myself over to the play area so that we can discuss it together so the first app the way you do these aspects are there are two questions that we answer and our answers are already on the board for us but i'd like to ask the question just so that you guys at home can also hear sort of what our answers to that was um so the first is, we are unseen. We occupy a sprawling space that the city doesn't pay attention to. What is it and what is it like? So everybody, what did we decide? Um, well, uh, we had sort of decided, yeah, there we go, that we're tunnel dwellers, Yeah. Uh, that we live on this asteroid and the asteroid is like a mining operation and we ex we live in the old abandoned mines that sort of are under the surface but are not what's actively being used yeah. and that is all we did we we wanted to sort of just lightly touch the the aspect so that we can ask some more questions in a moment the next question is we are discarded the world has no place for us why not Aki, would you mind 
helping with that one? Um, sure. So we have this kind of weird thing that is going to come up later when we talk about the name of who we are, uh, where this is a, a culture with limited resources. And so therefore there is a mandate on how many children can be born while on a, like birth while on this asteroid. Um, and anything over that amount is a drain on resources. So drain on resources. <laughs> <laughs> I Thank love you. these index cards. They're so helpful. <laughs> well, well, that's what I you wanted to set it up for you're real. Supposed, you're, yeah. supposed to have, real. you're supposed to have index cards. Uh, Amanda did the homework, and we applaud her for doing so. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Do I get extra credit, too? You I always do. get extra credit. <laughs> I will I will pay them out in hugs the next time I get to see you IRL. Well, and we're miss, both safely miss, vaccinated. Well, Miss Doing Homework, uh -oh. I would like you to help us with the next aspect. So this one is what's called a free yeah. aspect. So after discussing with your other players, this is something that you feel is just important to your community. And this is what we decided to come up with. Yeah, so uh, it was sort of like a, well, we did like the, the what kind of in the how, as far as like tunnel dwelling and drain on resources. So I was like, well, who are we, right? Like, what do we do? Like, how do we survive? And so, we're a little more sophisticated than just your average like pickpocket crew, okay? Like this is the freaking future, my dudes <laughs> and dudettes okay. and others. And we are information brokers. Exactly. And then we, we've talked through sort of a little bit lightly on that, but we're going to learn about this world with you guys because we don't know much more than that yet. So the next part, of the game and this is actually us moving back into the actual steps is answering a few what are called community questions and so each of us has a chance to answer one of the questions that is written in the book um and i'd like to start i know we started with max uh and so let's let's go back to max and then when we get back i'll do the last one but for max what do our eating and sleeping places look like Oh, um, interesting. Yeah. I so, <laughs> yeah, no, this is like, all right, shit, 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 shit. Okay. Um, our eating and sleeping places, what do they look like? Um, I would say that they are not like the, like, disgusting sewer dwelling dregs a la Ninja Turtles that you would imagine. I would say that, um, as people have been mining this asteroid, they've set up kind of, um, like camps along the way as they dig deeper and deeper and deeper and so we have taken over an abandoned uh mining camp underground so it has some functional infrastructure although we have been the ones who've had to maintain it and keep it running so it's um it's 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 beaten up but uh but we have a we have a little kind of dark enclave okay so next aki uh who is in charge how are major decisions made in our community? Um, I want to say that in general, we have a group of kind of like uh, older founders, uh, kids who have been doing this for a while and have kind of lived this life uh, for as long as they can remember that are sort of our leaders and guides. Um, I would say anyone within the age of between 14 and 16 um, kind of tend to be the ones that like really, really run things around here. Um, yeah, I, I, I think I think that's that's kind of the age range of leadership. All right. 14, 16, uh which I think which I think makes this particular colony fairly young. Mm -hmm. uh, as a colony. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. Yeah. Cool. Uh, just one question that popped in my head sort of hearing that would be, uh, like, out of all of the kids, are there many who are 14, 16? Like, how, how, because we're dozens of children, right? Yeah. I want to say it's a handful. I can't say, I, I, yeah. I, I, oh, yeah. I, I, I don't think it's more than 10. I want to say between five and 10 I like kids are like really, like and yeah i i think that Smart. i think that the reason that is is because there was probably you know between 14 to 16 years ago a higher mortality rate than there is now 
Um, so. Interesting. Cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, Amanda, this one's yes. for you. What are two different ways we get basic necessities? Oh, man. Okay. We, let's see, to get basic necessities. So we've got shelter, right? Mm -hmm. So um, if you're talking about like water, uh, I'm going to say that um, because these had been used for quite a long time, we talked about them having like beds. I'm going to say that there are obviously several different exits, right? Like mm -hmm. maybe kind of like sewer grates, but um, I hadn't really thought that detailed in my head yet. Um, but we know um, that one of them comes out uh, right near the back of a, um, like a giant uh, nightclub. Yeah. I'm going to say like a giant, the city's like giant nightclub. Um, and we can like quickly steal water from like. Okay. The, their back like area. So we go and we steal the water and that. I mean, it's things like that. I'm not saying that's the only place. I'm just saying like, we know which like few exits come out to a place where like we can safely go grab some water, bring it back down. And... So so what I really like about that is that we, we've we already written that one of the things is we are drained on resources, which is why we're sort of these people, right? That is also us stealing more resources, <laughs> which I think is really fun and, and leads to some conflict later potentially. So cool, awesome. And... Uh, and the food, like, I guess they need food too, then that's like a second resource. Um, well, no, I'm gonna go with the food, I think, is decently like water. You can kind of, you know, okay. extrapolate. Um, but how they get their information uh, is this being on an asteroid, a city on an asteroid, obviously, this is in the future. Um, so these are, uh, I mean, I guess not obviously, but spoiler alert. I don't know. Time is wibbly. I yeah. Um, I'm just trying to answer the question, Max. Stop making faces at me. That's all I have I'm like, in my life is making faces. I, it's, not, it's not you. Um, and I'm going to say, you know, like information brokers, like these are all like small children who can move quickly and like slip into cracks. And like um, I kind of envisioned it like the equivalent of like. Jeffrey's tubes of like just knowing like how to get where they need to get and where those ears need to be. Um, there's like a training, they're like specific, a specific team, I think that we have in the group that's trained to like do that well. I, I really like that. Um, and we sell it, and, and, and we sell I think information. it's totally fine if it's like Jeffrey's tube-ish like sometimes, because like obviously there are these caverns we're in, right? But there's also like city infrastructure and like housing units and all those kinds of things. So totally makes sense there yep i Perfect. mean how else are we going to broker information if we don't have access to like places that will get us that information yeah and also we're young we're, we're we're young people so i think they're depending on when we're out and and how we're doing it like there's different ways we could do that potentially awesome uh my question is what harm do we fear from adults and authority figures Ooh. um so yeah. Yeah, I I want to say that if if we're a drain on resources on an asteroid, I do think that punishment is probably death, um, which is kind of bleak. And and like I, I I mean that's why it's so fearful. Like we're so fearful of those adults um, because if we either let people find out about where we're staying or others of us we run the potential of all of us being got in a way okay so with that the next part which we've already done uh for those at home is come up with a name for our isolation uh does anybody want to say it no you all right so we're we're going to be known as the second borns yeah. Ooh, I like I like it better. I wrote it two words, but I like it better as one. Oh, I don't know. Born. No, I, I like it. that. And you and you even did it in like a really nice, like stylized I font kind of thing. Like Thirty seconds ago. <laughs> uh, from now on, Amanda designs all of our letterheads. Uh, oh, good end. lord, no. <laughs> 
I, I want to I want to take a moment yeah. to tell the audience how amazing Amanda has been during all of this. In case you all did not know, Amanda is the person who helped me put together this whole idea and has been step by step helping me keep it all organized. If you love this show, it's because of Amanda. She has busted her ass and done an incredible job this entire time and is a big part of the reason why the show exists. Well, this is embarrassing. Thank you. It's also true. Oh, deflect, deflect. Somebody say something funny. I don't know. That's so that what we do here. I yeah, specifically created the show so that I could play more with Amanda. So. It's fun. Yay. So, so the next thing that we so so just to letting you know, this is all sort of set up for the world, right? So we're building out this world, and then soon we'll be playing a turn. But right before we do that, we've all, before the game, drawn our cards for our potential characters. Um, each of these cards have different archetypes, which I'll let people tell you, and then they'll, they can tell you about the one they've chosen and then their character. So actually, since you worked so hard and I'm very thankful and glad to be playing with you, Amanda, I would love oh, if you could okay. share the three cards you have and your character. Okay. All right. So uh, when I drew uh, at home earlier, I got three cards, um, Mediator, Magician, and scrounger do you want to um, uh, take those out of your hands and put them actually out on the yeah board I am, oh yeah right i am working on it i'm bad at this okay oh hey scrounger ah stop moving things who's doing that it might have been okay oops hello okay so um I got Mediator, Scrounger, or Magician. And I'm going to leave, y'all can read the the two that I didn't choose, uh, Scrounger and Magician. Um, y'all can read them if you want. I'm leaving them up there. But the Mediator, um, wow, this is so small and I'm like blind. Uh, mediator, factions in the isolation, factions in the second born, are often at each other's throats. You keep the peace the best you can. People talk to you about resolving conflict. Um, and you identify with all of the aspects, at least on the surface. Um, I'm like, yeah, so much of this game, it can't be overstated, revolves around the aspects that you choose and, and you know, how you can tie everything to that. Your words tied to that, who you are is tied to that, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so I am, uh, can I also mention the thing about the names since I'm gonna, yeah. okay. Yeah. So also the naming, the way that the names work in this game is you have one name that everybody like knows. It's like you're, just general basic uh, name. And then you have uh, a second name that only like a select number of people either know and or call you. Um, so uh, my character's name is Kit. Uh, she's 14. She's uh, been with the, the second born since pretty much the beginning when she was just, you know, very, very tiny. Um, I, would I would say since she's a mediator, she's probably a part of that uh, upper council, I'm guessing. Um, but Kit, I mean, she identifies with, sorry, I guess I'm like saying how you identify with like your character identifies with each of the yeah. aspects. Like it's but kind it's of on the surface, obvious. So yeah, I was like, it's kind of obvious, I think, uh, how, yeah. That relates exactly, but I would say she relates um, pretty hard to the tunnel dwelling part, just because I I, I want to say that she was one of those like runners that we were talking about earlier, the train to let go, but she had an accident uh, while she was doing that and like broke like an ankle or a or a leg or something like that, and because of their situation couldn't get it like fixed properly, um, so now she's. Um, uh, she's got like a she's got a limp and she can't really run very fast uh, anymore. So she's the biggest tunnel dweller of all of them because she almost never leaves. Um, but uh, all right, yeah. I, and what's yeah. her second, uh, and her name? Her second her name, name? Oh, her second name. Second name. Sorry. Um, because she's the mediator and she's been doing it for years. Uh, her they call her the judge. The judge. I like. Cool. It sounds intense. Uh, Aki, would you mind sharing with us? Sure. Uh, I'll let uh, Amanda take her cards back. Oh. And then I'll put mine out. Uh, 
so when I was looking through the cards today, uh, I saw a few that, you know, really called to me uh, because they're the kind of archetypes that I usually play uh, and decided, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go in a different direction this time. Um, and so I chose uh, the sage, the celebrity, uh, and the explorer. Um, and I was kind of looking at the way that our party was starting to shape itself and decided uh, the, the sage was probably the one that was closest to what I was feeling comfortable with as far as like outside of my usual pick. Um, and so when uh, Amanda chose the mediator, I was like, okay, I think, I think steering away from the sage will be totally fine. Um, and celebrity was kind of just like, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I don't know. Uh, so I decided instead to <laughs> I decided instead to choose the explorer. Uh, we rely on you to venture beyond the uh, where the rest of us do to push the boundaries and uncover new potential. People talk to you about the unknown, um, and I, I chose this one specifically because I have this image on my head of a specific person that I like to play with, uh, who tends to be like the crash test dummy for the group. We'll just do whatever. <laughs> does not ever think is it about, is it max it's not max no. it's, oh, it's, it's one colin kelly yeah. <laughs> oh it's a colin okay it's a colin um and i was just like that just sounds like it would be a lot of fun to do at least once um so i also identify with all of the aspects you know there's undiscovered potential in one um i think uh there is undiscovered potential on the drain on resources. Yeah. I don't think we take as advantage as we could have of the resources that are available to us. We're so used to um, living like uh, frugally that we have neglected even seeing if there is the possibility that we could be taking more. And perhaps we even see a society that is wasteful. Or at least this character sees a society that is wasteful. And uh, does it, uh, has a problem with that. Well, how old are, are you? I want to say, okay, first of all, I want to give my name. My name Oops. is Nano Cage. Whoa, I love it. Yeah, Nano Cage is my name, but the cage is spelled C-A-D-G-E. Uh, but Nano Cage is their name, and um, they're, I want to say they're like 11, 11, 12, like hitting that preteen, I want more, I want more, I want more, um, <laughs> which is why, like, during on this, uh, uh, on, a, on society, on resources is kind of their thing. It's like, we could, we could be doing so much more. Um, and uh, the, the name that everyone else calls them, the name they've earned for themselves is Seeker. All right, Max, Mr. Oh, Max. oh sh criminy, criminy. Um, all right, I pulled um, the ruler, the zealot, and the innocent. And hold on, let me move the innocent off of that poor zealot there. Um, and again, also in deciding to go sort of against type, uh, I wanted to go for the the innocent so um, i'm so excited for this I'm yeah so, that's gonna so be weird. Fucking weird uh it's gonna be so good I'm so, so i have to be like a nice boy and not do terrible things and <laughs> i'm just gonna be i'm gonna channel like big sam delev energy where i can and just try and be as as kind as possible um so <laughs> <laughs> all right anyway so here's the blurb i just think it's um, funny because innocent is not how i would describe sam to love like just you know like what's their like baby penguin you know like that kind yeah, of okay wonder and that. kindness yeah yes. no that I, character yes sam <laughs> heart has joy. a truly vindictive streak inside them yep. um but uh the blurb on the innocent is why is there so much anger we're all in this together 
If only we could all just get along. People talk to me when they're worried about me. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically about me, like, dude, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> I have seen all the ways that Max can twist innocent, and I'm no, no, no. no. I'm gonna work real hard on this one. This is uh, so wrong. I, <laughs> I identify with all of the aspects. But one of them means more than I realize.、Um, I think probably that one is that we are unseen.、Um, you know that kind of piece of 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 being unseen, which means also that we are、um, free in a in a in a large way that we are able to kind of roam and move and、um, so when and you say don't have、right. to. When you say unseen, do you mean the tunnel dwelling? Like because yes, the tunnel the- dwelling. Yes, sorry, sorry.、Um, so the tunnel dwelling aspect of it、uh, to me means a lot because it allows us to move freely and to not have to be burdened by worry,、uh, which, as far as my innocence is concerned, feels very important. That if I was felt attached to the world too much, I would feel.、Um, I would feel incapable of of my childlike wonder. Awesome.、Um, my character's name is Dust,、uh, and I had not come up with a secondary name because, unlike the rest of you, I am the person in the group project who <laughs> definitely gets the same grade, but you all resent.、Um, so, <laughs> let's come up with one right now.、Um, how about? <laughs> Uh, I'm laughing in the back. <laughs> no, Colin. Colin, be quiet. <laughs> I got a no, Colin. Cheer me.、Um, uh, how about uh,、um, how about Wanderlust?、Um, no, that's too long. How about Wander? It it was used to be Wanderlust, and then they cut it down because everyone agreed that it was too long. It's a shit nickname,、um, and so. It, Based on the idea that I I kind of am constantly forgetting the fact that we are in under constant threat of death, and I love to just be out, and so I go up to the city, I go down to the mines, I walk around, I I move too freely, and I have this kind of endless wanderlust,、um, and so I am constantly wandering. How old are you? I would say I'm on the younger side.、Um, let's say I'm. Fuck it. Let's say I'm like eight. Okay.、So、yeah. Eight. We have eleven. We have fourteen. All right. Well, I I'm take, excited. Take my, yeah. Take、uh, your cards. Let me get my cards off the deck. Get your、oh, cards.、No. You there? Take. Take. Come back. Thank you. There we go. All right. So the, these are the cards that I drew. Which are、I、basically chose all the cards that I would have chosen. It was it was really funny when you said that. I was like, oh. <laughs>、uh, so, except and, for and, the oracle, I wouldn't have chosen the oracle. I would so, have chosen healer and protector, but not oracle. Yeah, I, I I feel like I've seen you play protector characters and healer characters. So, yeah, huh? Um. So, uh, I, there was the healer, the oracle, and the protector. For me, the one that. I thought would fit really well in this group and with sort of the world we were building、um, was Oracle, and it just kind of s- struck me because that's kind of cool. So it says,、uh, "You know what's coming for us, and we believe you. At least most of us do. People talk to you about predictions. You identify with two of the aspects, and one of them will be our ruin." So.、Um, <laughs> So my character, I imagine his name is uh, is uh, Scar. Uh, no one actually knows like his birth name. That's sort of the name he was given because as long as people have known him, he's had a scar on his face.、Um, thus, this.、Um, the other thing、um, is that for the aspects, I think he's really very happy with his life as a tunnel dweller. Like he's older than a lot of the other kids. I say I, I was imagining probably 15, so probably a part of that upper council.、Um, but 
definitely thinks that the tunnels and staying quiet and safer is probably better for us um, because it allows him to do his job very well. And I imagine that his job is, um, and for a long time, he was a, a runner in the information brokers is what I imagine. And having been really good at his job, he he's 15 and I imagine very short and like very like gangly and kind of like good at hiding. And so that's made him a really good spy. And so sort of over the time, he's the one who's been able to gather a lot of information, which is why people come to him looking for information, right? And what is going to be sort of the drain he thinks based on information and, and stuff is potentially us being a drain on resources too much. So I'm really excited. Yeah, when you said that, it made me really happy <laughs> because um, I'm not a big fan of that. And that makes it fun to play. Oh. <laughs> um, so he is, uh, his nickname is Shadow Broker because that's what he does. He brokers tr trades in the shadows. And um, he is cool. So uh, is there anything I forgot to say? I don't think so. For characters, Ooh. I don't think so. Yeah, so then I think it's time to play the game. So th the way this is going to work is first, I'm gonna take everybody's cards back because we don't need this anymore. And so with this, I'm going to deal everybody. Oh, I can't do that because of reasons. Uh, Can you help with something? No. So I need to draw cards, but I there's the camera as a player. So I can't do that in the way that I want it to do. Yeah, can you help? Pot what, well, can what, everybody what? draw cards themselves? We yeah. can. Yeah, yeah. draw. Uh, you just, can you shuffle them? Yeah. Shuffle them and then we can each draw three. Yep, let's do that. Thanks. Sorry, uh, I'm, I, us, I'm new to this. <laughs> uh, the one thing I will say is that an easy way to do draw is if you hover over the deck, you'll mm -hmm. see a card pop up. You can uh, click it and it will allow you to draw that card. See, when I did that, it flipped over, but cool. Right. Yeah, it flips, but like, it flips, but yeah. Okay, I'll just take them. Yeah. Everybody, please take three uh, Act One cards. All right, so we're about to get into the game. So it, I'm so excited. All right, <laughs> so begin Age One by dealing three cards to each player. And usually um, it, it says for the uh, facilitator to go first, but I, I feel like it would be fun if, uh, let me look at the stream actually, who's next in order. It would be Aki. Cool. We're going counterclockwise then. Yep. All right. <laughs> uh, let me look at my cards here really fast. Yeah. And so, so if, if you don't mind like sort of going through the steps while we do that, if that makes sense. Um, okay. So what you do is you have a card what you do is you pick one of those cards and then you play it to one of the aspects and you connect it to that aspect. It's called drawing connections. I believe that's what we do. So I have three cards, which means I have three different choices and whichever card I choose, I need to play on a specific aspect of our culture and then try to draw a connection for why we use it for that specific aspect, correct? Yep. Cool. Um, so let me look. <laughs> I have a great card. Oh man. Um do, do 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 I feel like the first thing that anybody learns when it comes to a language is this one. And I am going to put it on the drain resources aspect. And that is <laughs> an explicative. Our explicative of choice, a word Expletive. said in fury Expletive. or frustration. Some may find it distasteful. Um, uh, a moment later, we'll regret. A moment we'll later regret. Great. Um, so yeah, I have to now. Let me, let me pull 
Hold on. Give me just a second. Do, 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 do. Now I need to build the word. And this okay. is the opportunity. So, so before you do is to explain how that connection works with drain on resources. Right. Um, yeah, why so do we make I, a word? Yes. So I think that this explicative specifically describes what <laughs> happens when we have run short on supplies. Um, Ooh. Yeah. Oh. So we've actually come up with a word that is kind of a, a bad connotation for when we have run low on food or water or some other like sanitary products or like medical products. Um, it's basically a word that um, only ever means bad things, which is why it's an explicative essentially. Uh, but we also use this whenever there is a particular person within our community that is acting this way that is specifically become dead weight or is Ooh. no longer properly con contributing to society like to our society so it has it has a kind of a double meaning and it, it is like most explicatives even in our language it didn't used to be an explicative but now we use it to describe a specific type of person and it is an explicit explicative now okay okay uh ooh, um this is my favorite part of this game, by the way, is that it's not just Aki's job to build this word. Uh, they get the final say, but as to what we choose, but all of us are supposed to have a discussion about what that word should be. Yeah. yeah. And one of the cool things is, is that if we get stuck, there are some very interesting uh, ways that we can build this word um, in a quick and easy way on roll 20. Um, they have rollable tables that allow you to build words that way. Um, and then there's also a very uh, cool key that is um, available within the actual source book itself that will let you uh, build words as well. If you want to explain that really fast. Uh, yeah, no. Um, so what I did want to clarify is one thing. That is what you're thinking of is called making a word. So that's when we make a word from scratch. Building a word is a little bit different. Okay, explain. Okay. So, so building a word is to construct a new word or phrase for the concept that you played. So that can, so if you look on, uh, what page is this? This is page 35 of the book. Um, there's an entire section on building words and that can be from repurposing words, combi combining words, using acronyms mm -hmm. and those kinds of things. What you're thinking of is like a brand new word to the lexicon, right? And so, cool. yeah, so this, like, I love what you're saying. So there's a drain on resources and that's the word we yell or say in frustration for that. So why don't we tie it to something that has to deal with resources, right? Or at least that's where the word originally came from, right? Or like being a, I mean, be, you're, we're talking about it being a drain specifically, right? So like right. you're conjuring right. specific imagery by saying like, we're a drain on resources. But if you're talking about like those who are, you know, even more so because, you know, whatever reason, um, maybe it has something to do with that concept of like draining, but like doing it either quickly or like, um... Yeah, no. I'm like, what if it's like, um, like, I'm trying to think of like a natural, like a sinkhole or a natural disaster, something that ah. would like cause like an instant drainage or something like that. Yeah. Or I like that. Like, and like, I think the best uh, expletives are single syllable um, yeah. for well, the most works. part. So like you could call them like either a sink or a hole or... Um... <laughs> Put up you hole. <laughs> Yeah. Why Actually, not? Like, like, no, I like it. I mean, you could be a, <laughs> you could be like, hole. like a a sinker. Like, I mean, I know it's yeah, like stinker, say, like but a, you could be like a, a sinker. sinker. Like, oh, if, if just we like... wanted to put like a, a little bit of a, a twist on it, we would call it a you're a sinker. Yeah, I I, I, like I like that a lot. Um, and so so I think exactly what you said before makes a lot of sense. Like that sort of we started, uh, like using that word to describe when like when we were frustrated with things running out and then over time it's become something that's spread more amongst our group um yeah that's really cool so they're a sinker 
Teasenka. All right. Teasenka. Oh, good. So, how would you spell that? Uh, I think I think it's I think this the fun part of this particular game is that we are people living in space. So, whatever it is, our culture is like it doesn't really matter. I think that accents exist and stuff like that. So, we could just spell it S I N K E R, or we could spell S I N K A H. Um, or like S I N K A Sinka. Sinka. I kind of like doing S I N K A H or A without the H. Either way, Sinka is it's how it's your choice. Spelled. Ooh, yeah. I kind of like it, doing it S I N K A. All right. All right. And it is on the board. So yeah. it is. Here, I'm gonna make this hey. language card a little smaller, though. I like so, these little language cards; they make me happy. Cool. Yeah. I'm gonna take that card. Mm -hmm. Do I need to take this card or discard it back to the? Um... Discard. Oh, we still have to do the conversation, though. Yeah, we have, we're, to have a conversation yeah. now based yes. on the bottom right, right, right. prompt. Cool. But yeah, Aki, discard it, and then I think you draw a new one, right? Yeah. So or so let's do the same first. I, yeah, I think the GM has okay, to take okay. it away from me. I yeah. don't think I can. I can discard. Oh, no GMs. Yeah. The the facilitator. No I apologize. Yeah, I'm not. No I'm master. definitely not a GM. So, the facilitator, I believe, must take it away from me, but I cannot uh, put it back. Yeah. Or I could always flip it, yeah. and we could like stick it down here in like the bottom. Yeah, we can make it really tiny and then move it to the bottom. Oh, that's perfect. You, <laughs> that's Yay. that's a great idea. Let's do that. I Actually, I'm gonna put it on the other side. So, and then I draw matter. a new card. Yes, you will draw a new From card. From the second age, though. From the second age. All right, let's go ahead and have From this conversation second. first. Yeah, so tell us who you think would have that <laughs> conversation. So so just to bring that card back really quick so that we can look at the front. So the scene at the bottom says, a moment will later regret. So. Right, and the idea is to have the conversation in such a way that you're both telling story, but also using the word that we just invented mm -hmm. in the way that we decided it's intended. Or also very explicitly not saying the word. <laughs> right. So that's mm -hmm. your choice. But but the word needs to be the center of the conversation in a way. Yeah. All right. So All right. I think that Nana would have this kind of conversation with the judge. Okay. Um, I feel like that, uh, yeah, I feel like that is. Um... So two questions we need to come up with is where are we and what are we doing? Uh, I think we're in the tunnels. Perhaps Nano has just returned from uh, some sort of mission of exploration, learning more about the asteroid or the culture or whatever. Um, so just just to let everybody know, the chat has decided our discard pile is inside of the cup. So there you go. <laughs> oh, it's in the tea leaves. Oh, good. That's a perfect. It lives spot. in there. Okay. That's great. Thank you, chat. Uh. And what is what has Kit been doing up until now? Um, I think you know when people don't need her to you know, mediate, I guess. Um, she is, I mean, she she's kind of the de facto momish type person, I think. Um, so, because again, she has to stay there most of the time. So, you know, if something needs to get cleaned or someone needs to get like a, a split lip dealt with or something like that. So I think she's, um, she's in the first aid like area band-aids giving band-aid or ba bandages and you know that kind of stuff uh in that case i think i want to say that uh scar is there as well all right guys guys yeah, yeah. i found i found something super super cool and what would that be? So I was I was uh, foraging about, you know, all I could do, and and uh, I, I discovered I discovered where they're like dumping a bunch of stuff, like, like a bunch of stuff, like stuff we could 
definitely use. And and it's just in there. It's just it's just gonna go to waste if if we don't if we don't reclaim it. Um, and and I was thinking I was thinking maybe I, I could take like a, a scavenger party out and and maybe and maybe grab some of it. I mean they're definitely not using it. I checked. I've been going back like every day for like the last week, and like all they do is they just throw stuff there. They never take anything back. Like it's like it's like gonna be super super useful for us. We should definitely like go in and like and like I mean if they're gonna use it, we should just take it. Oh, okay. Um, you're you're very excited. Uh, okay. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm not in charge, kid. Um, and I think look, that's fine. That sounds fine. You know, <laughs> like I would grab a team, uh, and and head out. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are you are you serious? <laughs> I mean, look, they're not using it. They're definitely not using it. <laughs> look, kid, I, I get that. What I want you to think about is how is it being surveillance? Have, have you even thought of that yet? Well, why would they care? If they've thrown it out, they obviously don't want it. It's not <sighs> like we're being sinkers. Just because they don't want it doesn't mean they want you to have it. Yeah, because all, it, ta- just... all it takes is for them to find out about us. And then we're all... <laughs> I'm just so tired of letting in these little kids. I think it's just, it's just annoying. You, you know what I mean? When you're trying to keep people from doing stuff that's going to get them messed up. We can't just take things willy nilly. We have to make decisions. You say we're not what? a sinker. That's the, the definition if you ask me. But but not like they're going to notice. They They threw it out. They obviously don't care. I mean, no one who's trying to reclaim this stuff for better use is a Sinka. They're working hard, trying to make something happen. And it's not like they don't know about us. It's also not like we want them to know more about us. What? Scar, why are you being so just overly careful all of a sudden? This is not like you at all. No. Like, I, I don't want to get in the middle of this because again, not my job. Um, but I think it's exactly your job, but okay. well, I'm glad for your input. Um, thank you. Uh, but, I just don't want something bad to happen. That's all. I don't want this to be something that we'll have to worry well, about later. We also have to eat and, and we have food. We also have a lot of people that food goes fast, Scar. I, nobody's using this stuff. We, I, I just, I think- if you want me to, I can I can spend more time observing the place and make sure for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, nobody is using it. It's what is it? It's nano, right? Yeah. Yeah, listen. Um, so Nano, don't listen to him. He is just just captain of the negativity squad over here right him. now. Um <laughs> You know, listen, you know when you get like this that no one should listen to anything that you say. Like, don't... We've been doing this too long. Scar, don't pretend that I don't know who you are. Like, three foot five, eleven year old. Like, Nana, like, the- just hasn't quite hit, you know, the preteen growth homework stage yet. It's just like... And, and <laughs> by the way, calling foot. anybody... Oh, oh, yeah. oh, four foot. And calling anybody a Sinka, Scar, it's coming from you. It's hilarious. Listen, kid, um, I think you should do that. I think you should talk to your, uh, you're on the squad, right? The runner squad? Yep. Yeah, talk to your commander. Uh, maybe do some more surveillance. But again, it's it's their decision, uh, not mine. But I think it's a good spy. Thanks, Judge. If anybody's a Sinka... Kit, it's you. Mommy and Daddy are fighting again. <laughs> cool. I think that's. I think that's. Get out of my infirmary. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Awesome. That was fun. I really liked it. Cool. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder about because it's like 
a moment we'll later regret. Are we supposed to like, I'm try I'm wondering about how much you have to kind of front load that or if you're just like, oh, we'll just have like a normal scene and then later we have to file it away and later show how it should be regretful. So, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's that's fair. I think for for me the way I understood it was um that whatever like for example, with this situation maybe uh nano comes in with something that they've taken from that thing so that the word like we've all re we will regret it like this is the situation showing that yeah, but i think i showed i showed an example of this is the shit we can take we can yeah. just take this this mm. is all ours maybe it's maybe it's like mm. a spare part for like a machine or something like that right because we didn't define it we didn't define like what it was at all yeah. so okay yeah i was just curious like how people were reading it from like yeah you know the perspective of the performative perspective i guess um, and and I think the way it, it played out is totally fine. Like that is something we would regret, like if it happens in story. So let's play with it. Oh. Our commander, someone's Set up going for out. Knockdown for later. Yeah. <laughs> Happy oh. that. All right. So next in our fun little order, we're going counterclockwise. Would be Matt. Uh, okay. Let's see. What have I got in am my? I under, am I doing that right? Wait, Aki. Am I doing that right? <laughs> Um, I see Amanda. If I went, yeah, if I oh, went, uh, Amanda, if we're doing counter, way. if we're doing counterclockwise, it is Max next. Oh, oh, okay. because I'm not looking at the right thing. Yeah. Uh, then excellent. I will also let's take a look here. Um, no, that doesn't seem like in character for me. Okay, uh, I'm gonna play. Good luck. Hmm. Um, so how we affirm our hope in happy outcomes, a spoken wish for victory that bonds us together, a particular kind of luck or fortune for the isolation. Good luck is needed most. Um, so this is an idea of something, I guess, unexpected and lucky um you know and good so let's see good luck does anyone have an idea on what a good luck word might be Which what are you tying aspect it to did you tie it to? oh i haven't tied it to an aspect well maybe i should do my yeah what are you tying it to and why um, uh, let's tie it to being information brokers i think that makes a lot of sense to to the work we're doing um i guess in my head it is when you know Part of our job is is passively picking up information, and part of our job is actively picking up information. But I would say that this is when like some sweet shit just drops in your lap. Mm -hmm. It's like you didn't even have to work for that; it just happened. Um, so that would be my thought. I like it. <laughs> um, I like, like the a, like idea big... of like of tying it to something akin to magic, like like a wish or fable shit of some kind, like like a real, like really non-scientific sort of like, especially for the society where, where I think that probably science is like a ruling kind of ideology, something that's like kind of mad, like, like steeped in sort of magic uh is, is is a fun thing to sort of play with yeah. mm -hmm. so i was my first thought was like because we're talking about like kind of being right place right time kind of a situation right yeah so i was thinking of it maybe being like oh if you've had like good luck you found the spot like you found the spot to stand or lean or sit like accident like just for good fortune um to hear that sweet, sweet piece of info. So you, you, you found the spot. Wait, that sounds terrible if I think about it in a non-childlike way. Yeah, no, no, but, but it's uh, fine. There's, if we if we use the actual Had word the just spot, spot right. like just if we use just the word spot and go off of that, could be, uh, could be. I yeah, was but thinking I, of sort of mixing them both. Stuff that's more of a phrase. Yeah. Wait. Of uh, yeah. being like, if we like the only i mean the magic location that pops into my head immediately that is very lucky is like the end of the rainbow where you would find a treasure trove um mm. so you know if it's like if we did like that's rainbow you know like 
Ooh. Like it's just well, we like it's like it a pot spot. of gold. Yeah. Do you like? Like, yeah. so I'm telling you, that it was like a completely rainbow spot. I mean, me, like the spot can even double for like when you see something, when you spot something. Right, right. Amanda, you seem iffy on this. Yeah, I know. No, I also love this where like you can like feel yourself start to circle it, right? You start yeah. to like, you start out way here and then you just like <laughs> listen to it kind of come closer and you're like, no, that's not. Eh. Something um, sinker. Uh, calling it like a rainbow spot. It just seems like. So a lot of like, they don't flow. I don't feel like they, the, the words and the syllables like flow well together mm -hmm. i guess if that makes sense like coming out of your mouth yeah eh, um but bow spot hmm? bow spot Ooh. yeah bow, bow spot bow spot yeah yeah i like okay. that like you found the bow spot or you're you're in the bow spot it was a you're... it was a you're living in the bow spot or it's a bow spot moment or you're feeling bow spot Ooh, yeah, I like yeah. That. yeah yeah that, that's fun it's fun to say bow spot yeah, totally <laughs> which I think is the, the important part about language. Like, it's all about like what is actually useful, right? Like, like it's quick. I think it, and for us, it, it apparently means good luck, right? Yeah. The bow spot. The bow spot. Uh, how would you spell that? I think it's one word: b o w s p o t. Yeah. Okay. Also, just as a side note, and this is not going to be canonical uh, because it's not a card, but I really liked it when Amanda said good spy. And I was like, I will now be saying that throughout this game. <laughs> good so good spy? Good Did I say spy. good spy? Yeah, you were like, good spy. And I was like, fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's future language. Whoops. It's a very good spy. All right. So, yeah. So, it, it, it's a bow spot. So, so use when when we are having happy outcomes. I like it. Um, yeah. So what about your uh, scene? Who's going to be in this scene with me? I, good luck is needed most. I guess, um, how about uh, Nano and Scar? And I think we can build off of the last thing, because uh, I do like this idea of this weird get that Nano has found. Um, and maybe let's set it so that like, you know, it's there, Nano and, and their crew are kind of scoping it. And, um, and in my head, probably, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I can leave you to your own devices on, on where you come in. Okay. Um, and I would say that as far as I'm concerned, Dust has probably inadvertently, um, like Nano and, and the running crew are like scouting this thing and doing a pretty professional job of it. Dust has just walked into it, like has found like another way in and is just like, oh, stuff. Like isn't even trying to scrounge, isn't trying to like scavenge, isn't trying to do any of that. It's just Dust like, has potential. <laughs> dust, dust just goes where where his feet take him. Um. So yeah, I guess I'll, I, from where I'm at, I'm kind of coming in from another entryway, another tunnel, um, and have found this this uh, cache, as it were. Oh. Uh, dust. Huh? What Somebody say my doing? name. Yeah, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Oh, how, how, are we whispering? Yeah, we're whispering. All what right. What are you doing here? I was just going for a walk, and I figured that this looked like something that I could uh, yeah, sit just... in and no. take some time. No. Why? This is a place you want to sit in. Why? Because. The above grounders, they, 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 they're the ones that dump the stuff here. All right. I mean, they dump everything here. Yeah, but if they see us, we'll, we'll get in trouble. We, okay. We, can't, we just can't come in here. 
you, you have to, you have to go the but how did how did you get in here <laughs> i they came from where they dump it in i was walking around up top and i saw him just chucking this stuff and i figured i'd go take a look you were above ground yeah why you don't go up there i mean yes but only on like yeah, sanctioned sanctioned like on, on sanctioned scavenges and and and, and stuff like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, me too. I do a sanctum, sancti scavenge as well. Yeah, I do that. That's, uh... uh can you show me exactly where it is you came in? Oh. Um, yeah, if you go around that way, there's this just... It's amazing. It's just this big hole, and they just drop stuff on you. You gotta see this. It's it's nuts. They just... Do you? I can't believe. Well, well you you know you yeah, here. You watch. This is some like bow spot okay. stuff, man. That is definitely a bow spot. Yeah, they just keep putting it here, and nobody bothers. Nobody looks at nothing. Yeah, I'm trying to convince Scar to like give us the go ahead to like start pulling stuff from this place. He's been- oh yeah, all right here. And I was just gonna grab something and hand it to you. There you go. You could take that. That's good. I mean, I know I can take it. I yeah. have already taken something from this pile. The All right, well, now is, you take two. The problem is Scar is not excited about us taking stuff from this place. Ah, Scar's okay. He doesn't mind. And Scar walks in from the tunnel that uh, that Nano uh, is walking in. And he goes, I knew you were up to no good. We're just scavenging, and dust kind of tripped dust. up on us. Hey, yeah. He's, what uh, are both of you doing here? I'm here because the judge said I could be here, okay? Dust just sort of wandered in. Yeah, it's, um, there's a whole other way to get in here. And you can just walk right in here. Nobody, nobody up top pays any attention. You got to see this. You are up top? Yeah. Who gave Gosh. you the permission? Who told you you could go? What I was on a Sancti scavenge, just like Nano. We are going back right now. You uh, sinkers. Oh, you got to see you. this, though. Hey, look at this. This is insane. These are like total bow spot finds here. You got to look. I ain't no sinker. Look here. I'm Grabs just going to hand, the hand arm you like and a starts oh, all right. dragging me back. <laughs> be, be gentle with him, Scar. Hey, hey, be hey. gentle. Jeez, grabby, you grabby. Look at this. And I'm just going to, like, hand you, like, you know, it's like a piece of, like, surprisingly clean, like, mirror. There's all of these really, really cool things that we could just be grabbing. Nobody wants them but us. We're not sinkers if we're just, you know, reclaiming things that nobody wants. Yeah, see? This thing makes twins out of you. I got a me, and I got me, and then I got this one over here. I got two of us. It's crazy. You both give me headaches. We're doing our jobs. Yeah, I do my jobs. Not that you have one, Dust. Dust, you don't, you have, don't a have a job. Yet. Well, I'm doing that then. <laughs> All right. I think uh, <laughs> you're gonna, we can you're gonna that. But I'm going to drag you both back. Yes. Um, me too. I'm not, doing not you I'm... so much. I think I'm I'm spying on you. Like I'm following you. But you're the judge giving you a. Amanda, we can't hear you. Amanda, you're yeah, you're muted for some reason. Oh, oops. You're back. There you go. Because the dog. I was just saying, um, <laughs> I love I love that I it's just... called a sancti scavenge, not, not Yeah, a... I had like a whole thing that I just said, and I'm like, what, what did, did you, you just say? say? And I'm like, I don't I don't freaking know. Oh, um, no. I don't I don't remember. My short-term memory is like just whoop. When oh, you I said know. I was in that thing, I was like, where am I gonna enter? How do I do this? But then it, it made <laughs> That's what it was. That's what it was. Because oh, yeah. I was like, I love it Get that Star just like grabbed them both against their will, and, like pulled them <laughs> out of this thing when his initial concern was don't make a scene so that like they'll see us from the like. I think he's trying to get, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, I don't think it makes sense. You're right. But I also think okay. he thought it made sense in the moment. <laughs> oh, sure. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I, I also, we have, we now have good spy and sync to scavenge. I, I, well, well. So there's a way you Thank can do you. that, actually. So explain. There's oh, yeah. a thing there called a... variance. So if at any time there is uh, a word that you think would be like sort of built 
a variant of another word, something that it spontaneously is created. I think the page for that is sixty. Wait. Oh man. Yeah, it's a language item related to one already defined. Any right. player can create a variant at any time, and it doesn't count as a turn. So, uh, what were the two words you just said? Uh, I don't think they particularly um, connect to the words we've already created, but there's That's something sure. to keep in mind for later. Yeah. Uh, good spy and sanctity scavenge. Yeah. Good spy and sanctity scavenge. Even if they don't end up on this board, I want they're to just, keep them. They're just <laughs> part of the world now. Yes. Yeah, they're right. part of our world. So. I do feel like that's part of this game is that it, they're like the canon words. We're like, this is a word. This is a scene around that word. And then at a certain point, you're just like, we are making shit up. And this shit <laughs> is in our brains now. <laughs> it grows, right? It grows and great. it spreads. And it's like, it's great. Yeah. I think it's a microcosm for language in real life. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> this is going to be like a Almost real like, like thread. Like, I'm going crazy. See, everybody can notes. look forward to us using these words IRL just as a cast from now until the end of one. I mean, Good Spy is like applicable. Good Spy to is like, sick. Oh, yeah. Good I'm spy. just saying that forever now. I like have future language. <laughs> cool. So uh, the next turn in order would be. You technically. Ooh, okay. So I have not had a chance to do oh. this. Huh. A unit of time is what I want to do. Mm. So, okay. yeah, because I, I feel like a unit of time is important to any society. <laughs> but also, I feel like this one makes sense in that I want to say. Because I had one that just sort of popped up in my head when I was thinking it. So the card reads, uh, an important unit of time in the isolation tied to one of our, uh, to our routines, environment, or whatever defines the rhythm of our days. And for me, the I want to make a connection to our tunnels. Because I feel like that is something that we have in our back pocket. Like we run these tunnels all day, every day. Um, and so something derived from like a length of some tunnels or, or a word around there, I feel like makes sense in this. Um, so yeah, I'd love to hear any ideas you guys have. So maybe there's like a, there's like a standard entrance and exit from somewhere. And it's like how long it takes to get from like the, the barracks or the camp or whatever to that spot. like. Maybe, but um, mm -hmm. or... well, because there's probably no like, if we're on an asteroid, there's no like easy like day night right focus. So like, time could be measured like in distance. Like, like Amanda said, where you're like, this is how long it takes. You know, what about loops? Like, like because oh. tunnels loop around and they come back. So maybe like. The time it takes from one, to, like just a standard tunnel, like pass that we've all gone through, like the main pass into our camp, like that to the surface. Maybe that's called a loop, mm -hmm. and so, so, so that could be how we're. That could be a unit of time that we use in, for us. You right, it's that, like, like a loops light would year. Be consistent. Well, I mean could be right if every loop is whatever you know a mile might be too long but if every loop is sure let's say a mile right and they time, just like when they're digging them out they're just digging out mile loops like so i'm not saying that every tunnel is specifically that but whatever is the most commonly used tunnel like the the the, the path we've taken the most mm -hmm. that loop is what we're using as our measure of time so like the distance from there, it, even if you're going somewhere else, like how many of those loop distance wise would it take to get there and back? So a loop is very one, one very specific route. And then we might be like, oh, it's going to take a loop and a half to get to this other place using this route specifically. Yeah. And we're using it right. based on the measure of time that we're already accustomed to. That is our most common uh, measurement of distance slash time. Yeah. Or it'll take two loops to get there. Or it'll take 3.5 loops to get there, that kind of thing. Yeah, I, I, I like that. So repurposing the word loop specifically for our group to mean that. Um, and what I would like for the actual scene is a scene between uh, Nano and Kit. 
or, or no, 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 nano and dust. Oh no, Kit, you haven't had a chance. Look, I feel like everyone's had a chance, right? We have yeah. to do one. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, so maybe nano and dust actually, because I feel like they're the ones plotting to take stuff from different places. And the text on this card for the scene is a plan is made. And I just feel like you two are up to no good. Us? Oh, well, I'm you're only innocent. up to yeah. good. You're innocent. No, that's fine. That's I can easily be duped. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe, maybe also let's, let's try to see if this plan is being made with the judge as well. Yeah. So, so All right. yeah. Why don't we start the scene? So, so what's going on? Um, I, I want to say that you, because Nano has already been talking to uh, the judge about this plan and trying to get it going, but I think there's a bigger operation. Like some of the other people from our camp probably have signed off on it. Not me, not Scar. <laughs> and uh, I think you're planning the next sort of big thing there. And maybe uh, Dust like enters and wants a job and wants responsibility in the camp a little bit. Yeah, oh, you're right. telling me I'm I'm for this plan? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I oh, just okay. think they're, they're talking to you about the plan. We I think they trust you here. more than they trust me to talk to about the plan. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to say that now I'm... I want to say that now I'm, like, sitting in the mediator spot. Like, we have times for me to sit and, like, help with whatever. So I'm just going to be there. Okay. Office hours. To, like overhear the plans or whatever. Kit. Kit. Okay. So I did what you tell, told me. I did huh? some scavenging and some, and so, not scavenging, but scouting. Scouting. Some scouting. I found like, yeah, of, of the, of the, of the really good bow spot that we were talking about, um, uh, where they've been dumping a lot of resources, stuff that they've not been using, stuff that I think that we could definitely be reclaiming for ourselves. Um, cause obviously like they don't want them. Um, and I think I've come up with a plan for how we can liberate those assets and inject them into our community. Um, I think that it's going to have to be a slow uh, operation so that it, we don't uh, draw immediate attention to ourselves. But there are a couple of select pieces that I think if we take them, nobody is going to notice. And you, you like dust kind of slowly is walking by with like a large, like garbage bag over his shoulder and just kind of like dragging it because he's so tiny. And he's just like, he's like, hey, how's it going? Dust, what do you got there? Oh, I tell you, I was back at that bow spot and I was looking through it because, you know, it was so nice and you can get so much fresh air there. And I found this bag and it's just uh, here, I'll show you. And I just kind of pour it out in front of uh, Kit and Nano. I'm like, it's just all like shredded documents. It's just nothing but like shredded papers. And like, you see this? It's all papers. And when you put it in the bag, it's like a big pillow. And you can lay down on it, or you can roll around in it, or you can do whatever. But it's real comfy when they cut it up like that. I don't know why they do it, though. You How think... many loops did it take you to get to that? Oh, well, you know, it, I don't know. I've probably been going to five, six loops. You know, not that long. Uh, you know, you just you go out. I lose track of time. Maybe ten. Um. Oh, oh, how okay. Uh, dust. Yeah. That's so um industrious of you. It does. To... It's me. Yeah. Like good, good, good. It's good. Oh yeah. Ha. Huh. Right. Okay. Huh? Uh, that's funny. What? Um. And. and Never mind. All right. That good. Good job. Good job. Right. Um, right. I think that I think that that'll be. If you don't want it, I'm sure. I'm sure one of the others will. I. I mean, I just figured I'd go back and get another one. If I. Yeah. You. You can keep it. Well, you keep I, it, Judge. You. I you don't know, know what to do with it. Yeah. Sure. Okay. That's another thing for me to do. Okay. Um, oh. We. I don't know that this is. Sufficient 
uh, reason to put us in the da- in danger of all of an operation. Like, is please tell me there's something better. Well, um, I was playing around in there when I was there, and I some of the pieces of paper. Here, you gotta hold on, hold on. I got it. I got it. And he kind of like, I like search in my pockets. And I pull, pull out a, a, like four or five little shreds. And I like, I'm like, oh, hey, Nano, here, look at this. You're going to like this. This is good. And I like line them up. And you can see they're like starting to like, you know, like they match. And they're starting to like form a document. And I'm like, this took me like, it's took, I don't know. I must have been in there like a few loops looking at this. But anyway, what it what it is is um, this is the name of uh, of the guy who does all the all the trash dumps, and this is the times that he does it, and um, and this is the this is this says this this right here says what he's dumping out, and you can see his name's uh, his name's Glenn, and. Uh, <laughs> And uh, and he comes three times a day to do these dumps. So so then we would know when he's supposed to be there and when people are there looking. We have we have I've definitely seen things that are, are the paper is good, but there have been pieces of like tech, like some of the old busted mine equipment we probably could repair and like maybe like like really really like nicen up our tunnels there have been a couple of like of like uh like things that could help with like our shower system that i think would make a lot of people really happy because they've been busted for a while like some good piping and things like that and I, I i've even seen like stuff that could possibly be turned into cooking equipment like that kind of thing there's definitely stuff that's better than just you know stuff for making beds and i would say that like kit does not particularly enjoy like long conversations or like <laughs> being like so the <laughs> fact that both of these kids just go on and on and on before taking any kind of breath is just incredibly overwhelming. Um That's what okay. Kids do. I I know. Um <laughs> so great. I um yeah guys, listen, this like okay. Um you don't have to run everything by me. Oh, like, all right. It's, it's very, it's very sweet. I mean, something that's a big deal, you know, like a big thing. Like if you, I, I don't know, guys. I just, uh, I it's just that if we get into trouble, you're the only person who will defend us against Scar. Yeah. That's why we tell you stuff. Um, and I, I, I got, I got one question, because I yeah, was babe. looking at this schedule, and I was waiting because it says there's three dumps mm-hmm. a day. And I was waiting for the after the third one, and the guy, the Glenn guy, he came back a fourth time, not on the schedule, and he dumped this one bag, just one bag. So I went to go look at it, and there was a person in it. Uh, and I don't know if that's important, but I'm gonna leave that with you. Okay. Um. Cool. I'm. Yeah. Uh. It was the person how old okay. was the person how? i don't know big big person I don't okay know. so like you know, an adult I, I didn't an like... adult okay so um we actually probably do need scar here um do not go dust look at me right now hi okay are you looking at me yeah are you are you ready to listen uh, yeah you think so? Okay. I just, I, I just, I really need you to pay attention here. Okay. Do not, do not go back there. All right. Okay. You got to promise me you're not going to go back there unless, unless one of us comes with you. Like it's an official, official thing, but no more dicking around. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't we're gonna have to. No, we definitely need to come up with a word that's the equivalent of dicking around. Dicking that's, around. That's um, immediately hears yeah. the word "dick" and is I'm giggling my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> we 
you are actually you are actually eight. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, well, oh yeah, well, because I feel like she tells she tells the kids to stop dicking around a lot. <laughs> like, All right. Um, okay. But can I actually I actually want to know what it is now though before we keep going. Like, what is? Do we want to come up with a variant for it? Are, for is, like, are we allowed to do for that? dicking around? Well, I mean, it's not it's not actually it's supposed to be something that's like already yeah, on I the know. board. But I, um, if I if I get if we get another explicative card, we can. We so can I'm do... I'm not I but don't I know if there are multiples. multiples. Yeah. But oh, actually though, why? I think yeah, we have. Why the... couldn't it be an expletive spinoff? Why couldn't yeah. it be a yeah. variant on? Yeah, it could be an uh, because you know, okay. Sika is sort of like a drain on resources. So dicking around is like kind of one of those things that like Sinkas do. Like. So... Can I can I I'm gonna, say something here? Yeah, Just yeah, yeah. yeah but first Please I'm, do. Gonna, I'm gonna because I think in, if you're gonna call a variant, you have yeah. to discard one of your cards, right? Yep. To pay oh, for yes. it. Um, do it. So yeah. I'll just put one of these. Which one do I not think is that interesting? This one. Oh yeah, I forgot to draw a card for H two. So I'm gonna put that away, and in return, um, we're gonna make a variant here Yay. because it is too good of an opportunity to pass up. So, discard any card from your hand. Declare the new word or phrase you're defining. Okay, yeah, so sticking around uh, is going <laughs> to be a variant from uh, Sinka. From Sinka. Cool. From Sinka. And uh, yeah, so let's see. Uh, Randy, from... what was it you wanted to do? No, I wanted to oh, share what uh, the captioner has said for your word, which is digging around. Or decking it, around. Or decking around. <laughs> and those kind of, I mean, obviously, you spent the card, it's your choice. But I just thought those were cool. And one addition. Cool. <laughs> so what do, who has, who has thoughts? Um, I'm trying to think of like, like Sinka. I mean, you could throw it. It doesn't have to be the same as the word. It just has to be an offshoot of the same idea that the right. word covers, right? So, like, it's some bastardization of Sinka in in any way you want it to be. I think. Uh, well, I mean, so it could be like Dicka or like. I don't want to be married. I don't want to be like. I don't think you have. You're married to like the not? sound I, that there may be. So, many so what? Other things that I don't understand. Extension of an existing concept or words that share elements. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't it's have to be like because sink is an expletive, so like it could just be dicking around. So like, if you are dicking around, you're basically you're messing around, right? You're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, or you're doing something silly, um, and. Uh, so like mischief and mischief and what else? I'm trying to think of maybe like doing a compound word. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. So like, I think d dicking around is like half mischief and half something else. Um, it's like, you know, when you're fucking just like, you're doing nothing, you're uh, dilly dallying, you know, like almost I'm trying to think of like, it's just dilly like, dallying. I love that. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know it's a real word, but a dilly. Um, yeah, like dilly dally, like uh, dilling or Dylan or. But I, do I like just don't see how that's like that's like inherent to who we are as a, like how that would True. come up yeah. as a as a word like learning the word dilly dallying. Um, right. That's where. Uh, Digging around, so mischief and maybe like. Waiting, so what, so, so like, what is our society is sneaking around uh, and, and getting information, which we haven't come back to, but that. So what is the opposite of that? I think is a good thing. So like oh, what the opposite of what? Say that being again? useful. Oh, right. Of like getting info and like of doing your job and like yeah. having a purpose. Right. Lazy, like, uh... I imagine being a, like being an actual kid. Like oh. something about being kiddish is an expletive for for like these kids who are having to grow being up. Really childish and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Like we don't actually have the luxury of being childish. We actually have to like. What if it's like ch like if you took like childish mischief mm -hmm. and like compounded those so it could be like chiming. I like it. Chiming chimer. Uh, 
China. I'm just, at my house, like, there's something so fucking sharp about the word dick. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, you know what I mean? But it's just yeah. like, it's like, don't dick around. Like, like a hard, like a it's hard, a hard consonant sound in it. Yeah, which I do um, like. Yeah, like, we need a good consonant. What about a sound like an onomatopoeia? I, uh, that, that's also possible. Mm. What? It's so sorry to me. That's like an onomatopoeia describing the sound that a dick makes. <laughs> I was not saying that. I was, I meant Ooh, like a slapper. You're a slapper. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a, slap. yes. Okay, we're, we're we're getting a little. Yeah, bit. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> no, I, you slapping? Okay. All right. No, 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 no. Shit. <laughs> Stop being a slapper. Uh, I mean, yes, yeah, slapping about. No, stop slapping about. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I, I think that's it. fucking great. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so I, and just so I make sure that we write the variant down as a language item and place it next to the item it's related to. I'm having way too much fun with this game. This coming up great. with word, like coming up with words, is so much fun. I what, love doing. What did what did we say it was? Sorry. A slapper slapping or slapping about. Yeah. yeah. Slapping about. Yeah. Yeah. I think it, it, there's something innately sad about kids not wanting to be kids. I think that I like. <laughs> anyway, back to the scene you were doing, or yeah. we were doing, or we done? Like yeah, we yeah, done? No, 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 I think I, we're done. I, I think. Or okay, you, I mean, you yeah, you're going, your kids going off to do something. We've been told to wait. Um, because oh my God. Buffers, Buffers, are you like, okay? Get on with it. Uh, <laughs> no, she wants us to stop slapping about. I think that means slapping there's a about. ghost. I don't know. That was all the barks mean different things. All right, anywho, well, uh, yeah, so we can either continue on, uh, well, thank the scene you for the rain, or we Man can, of Pot Studios. Oh. oh, thanks. Thanks, Manapat. Yeah, so I, I'd say let's move on so that we can keep the game going a little bit. Um, so next would be your turn, Amanda. Is it me? Buffers! Oh, you, look, you look like a hot mess, dude. Who, look at who these brushed scrappy your hair? buffers. Look at a baby. No one. Oh, you're baby. You're a little... Look over here. Oh, this my gosh. This is a special a member of our isolation. Yeah. We love oh, this is my favorite... My favorite movie is The Isolation. Yeah, don't know her mouth. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm just a magician. <laughs> uh, she is... Oh, boo-boo. Um, she... Maybe she... Yeah, she's our... Maybe we have a pet. Maybe we have a little a little pet in the that runs around. Yeah. Talking about a drain on um, resources. So, I... <laughs> Buffy's the actual Sinka here. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't be You're a Sinka, Buffy. <laughs> You're a Sinka. How, All can, right. how can something this cute be a Sinka? I know, though. It's so true, though. Um, so the one that I was drawn to uh, is filler word. Um, oh. And I was actually going to relate that also to tunnel dwelling. Um, it says sometimes we need... Oh, I got it. I have it in my hand, don't I? Yep. Silly, yeah. silly, silly me. Um... Here we go. Sometimes we need to fill the air and stall for time. This unique way of gathering space to speak is particular to us. I um, love, I love words like this. This is probably cool. my favorite thing about language. Cause like in, in English we have like, um, or, uh, or, uh, and, and in Japanese it's like, eto, ano, or ano. Eto. <laughs> Uh, it's, I love, this is my favorite thing about language is the word. Super useful in Japanese. I use yeah. it all the time. <laughs> so I was thinking of it in a way of like, um, like putting it, tying it to tunnel dwelling in the sense that like, you know, we are explorers. We all like go, you know, at, and if we're all going someplace, we go at different paces maybe or something like that. So it's kind of like a, a filler word when you're like, nah, that doesn't really make any sense. Um, I think it actually might fit with information brokers a little bit better. I was thinking, uh, the tunnel dweller, I mean, you could do something on him on a poetic, sort of, where you're like, you know, in the tunnel, there are all these sounds. 
like echoes or like pings or dings mm. or whatever, you know, and like you take that to be, you know, like it's an interrupting sound in your life. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. Cool. So that that makes a lot of sense to me. Um, as far as what that filler word actually is. What's, what, hey, what would be how here? about there? We're in tunnels, right? So mm -hmm. there's got to be echoes. Mm -hmm. um, so why don't we just say echo? Yeah, I mean, like, what is I mean, it you say in Japanese? What is it in Japanese? It's eto or ano. I mean, I'm down to bastardize that too and just be like, echo sounds great. Echo. Yeah, just echo. because I think. Oh, I think I think we we all like yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> that's really fun. nice. Yeah, but I'm gonna I'm gonna spell it E K O. Oh yeah, mm, sounds good. Echo. Future. Or no, actually, do it E H K O. Echo. E H K O. Yeah. Okay. Uh, nice. Ooh, it's behind this is that one. so much fun yeah it's this is such a cool game <laughs> okay and the it's um so abstract the prompt for this scene is someone is left speechless so i am going to have a conversation i think kit's gonna have a conversation with scar um and I think it's, I think Kit thinks that things have been, seems to have been kind of lax lately. Like all these kids like running out and not listening to anything that's happening. Like it's a little concerning. Um, and I think Scar is concerned, but for other reasons about like this situation. So I think that they're gonna have to meet um, to talk about it. Uh, and I think they're gonna do that. I think there's like a special area that's supposed to be like the council, you know, kind of chambers for lack of a better thing. And they're going to both be in there. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say echo. I mean, ugh, not, sorry, I'm, I'm already into the word. Echo. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say uh, oh. Scar is, uh, is, is writing. Like he's sitting down sort of looking at secrets that they have. Gathered. Yeah. So someone is left speechless. Um, so I Kit, Kit walks in. Hey. Hey. We got to do something about these kids, man. Tell me about it. I'm. I. <sighs> Echo. Um. Uh. They just. There's no there's no structure around anything anymore. I feel like I'm going crazy because we spent years setting up these, you know, safe practices and uh, roles for people and, um, and, and uh, go, um, Kit, Kit. I, I know oh. you're doing your best. I, 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 I thought we were doing good but some of these younger kids have been harder to deal with not listening to to orders Dude, we're doing we're doing a lot like what are you doing right now because it sure doesn't seem like you're doing a whole lot right now Sinka. <laughs> what am i doing i'm trying to keep us fed in a way that doesn't get us all killed i've been doing that since day one look here these are the names of all of the, the people on the surface who have been keeping bad tracks of food and water. And also when people are being dropped off uh, to be murdered when they are the second child. I'm trying to find people to fill our ranks because Lord knows we need more people to work more. We won't be able to keep going. I mean, we all have, we all have our roles to play and our work to do. And it's been that way since the very beginning. Like you, 
you know exactly like I do. You came up with me. So this is not the way it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be this loose and it's also not supposed to be this rigid. I don't know exactly what that means, but I don't like it. It's not, it's not. I'll level with you, Kit. Excuse me? I'll level with you. I'm trying, I'm trying to be honest with you for a moment. No, I'm not a kid, Scar. I said Kit. I said your name. Right, what? I know I, I, I can come off very stern, uh, annoying. I've heard some of the younger ones saying this, but I'm trying to keep us from, from getting, being gone, getting murdered, dying. Who? Who, who put that responsibility on your shoulders? Who made that all your job? We all share responsibility. That is the whole point of banding us together like we did, like. Yeah, yeah, Marco but someone, has to, someone has to pick the battles we fight and don't. And it's our council that's doing that. And I'm in charge of the runners on collecting information. Yes? then that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get information so that we stay where we are. Okay, well then keep your hands out of other people's, like, I don't know, I'm not good with the metaphors. Pots, you know, just keep keep your hands to yourself, man. Like, we're, we've all got our jobs to do and the way you get problems starting to happen and the way that you don't see oh. a fucking bow spot for like, is, you is came when, in here to talk about how the youngins you need aren't to stop doing interrupting me. I'm sick of it. I'm saying we all stay in our lanes for a reason. When you start not doing that, that's when things start to break down. You're not staying in your lane. Neither are some of these kids. So I don't, I honestly, I don't know what else to say about it, but I can say that the attitude you're bringing to the table is not going to make you any friends, man. And you know that. You want to know something? So, Wait, no, no. I think you need to know this. And he flips open to a page. These are the numbers of cases from the surface of people seeing the young ones while they're prancing about trying to steal things from this 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 boast spot we've been seen at least nine times in the last 30 click uh 30 loops that is unacceptable i'm trying to figure out ways to do that yes i come off angry and and maybe i'm being too much but i don't know what else to do go I wish someone were here to just tell me what to do, but they're not. It's you, me, and the rest of the council. And I'm doing the best that I can. I'm sorry if it's not always up to your standards. And I think he's, he just yeah, whatever. sits there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. This was a super productive talk. Thanks, Scar. Super helpful. And she leaves. Ooh, shit was real. <laughs> I really, I really should have just stopped talking to fulfill the someone is left speechless. But telling me to stop talking is just, just not gonna. Get no, you no, I, I loved it. I, I. No. <laughs> It's because you don't know me that well. I am I am a talker, so that's what I meant. It was funny because I don't shut up ever. <laughs> Hooray. Um yeah. anyway, so like I gotta take a card and that's like but that played out very, very well. No, that's great. That's the end of uh Is that the, the end of an age? age isn't it? Yeah, that is the end of our age. So oh, man. What Intense. so what time is it? It is almost yeah it is almost uh, time to start wrapping this up but what i think we can do is sort of explain how we progress into the second age before yeah. we we end and then we can pick up uh with that in our next episode i i thought the same so thank you <laughs> um so the first thing is um to read 
so basically the way the book has it is there are transitions and sort of some paths you can choose um, in each of the backdrops. So we read the transition prompt for the upcoming age. Then, uh, then the, the event prompt is an event to foreshadow the end of the isolation. It finds its way into all conversations. And then we address one of the prompts on page 97 for the group. So what event foreshadows the end of our isolation? Wait, what are we? Oh, so page 97, the uh, age transition. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, so we, we pick, there's a black path and a red path. Yep. Right? Okay. So an event ah. foreshadowed the end of the isolation finds its way into all conversations. Um, so black so path or red path? Can I just say maybe we can tell them what the that they what it mm -hmm. says? Um, so, so so I think it's so it's very tied to like the story, and I I don't want to read both of them and then decide. Like I I want us to not like ah, what okay. what is what is like because because I mean we could go basically it's like one is darker and one is not as dark is what it is. So, I mean I'm fine with doing the slightly less dark version doing the black side for this one at least yeah i okay. think the black path gives us a lot to work with and yeah and, and feels like it's an extension of where we're at currently yep mm -hmm. um so i'd vibe on that cool okay okay yeah so I, that I, that I, in I four that's that. gonna in i'm sorry no i was just saying thumbs up to that yep cool. i think it's gonna yeah it's gonna give us something to think about too for the next kind of week as to figuring out like what that me could mean to us. Um, and so the idea is that it is just the skin on the whole second age, right? Like it's yep. just the present, ever present. So, so yeah, um, we will say that and then we'll uh, evolve one of our aspects for the game. So th those and what are, does that mean again? It means to uh, basically one of our aspects will change based on sort of where the story is going. So like maybe whatever this text says will affect. I, I mean, we could do that next time as well so that we as players also can understand that. But mm -hmm. the idea is you can evolve aspects in many ways. The isolation may choose to adapt in the face of adversity and let the world change them, or they may double down in the face of doubt, entrenching themselves in their beliefs. So okay. we either change the aspect to be like, you know, I don't know if we're gonna take aspect one, we are unseen, where they're like, oh boy, are we seen? Or we're like, no, we are fucking mega not seen. So, so <laughs> yes, the idea? remember our aspects are tunnel dwelling, information oh, right. broker, I keep drain on resources, right. but yes. We <laughs> super live in a tunnel, or boy, howdy, do we not live in these tunnels anymore? Or maybe, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> well, I, it's the aspect, how the aspect changes based on the scenario right. that we give ourselves, right? Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, well, this external effect is going to change one of your internal aspects and make it shift and go in a different direction. And we also address like pretzels. Sort of, yeah. Pretzel. I can take this. Yeah, I'm a pretzel. I was not looking. I was looking at the book and I was very confused. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, so, I think we're going the black path. Um, mm -hmm. I, I would like to end tonight sort of uh, reading that. But I really, really like Max's reading voice for this kind of thing. So, Max, <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. Max, Max has you, a mean, good voice. Yeah, I'm going to read You and your asked. gloriously dulcet tones the, that, that nice bear read tone. it to us max it's very kind of all of you okay uh the black path entering age two ah got it <clears throat> we are discovered by a representative of a group of adults they do not oh. understand us but wish to usher usher us into a life that serves their own uncaring values or pocketbooks at the same time we lose one of our two major sources of necessities and that person does us a favor to help. Who is the group of adults? What do they want from us? Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna say if, if you're watching and you have you have thoughts, 
you can let us know on Twitter, maybe. You can always tweet oh, them yeah. at us. And speaking of which, let's go around the horn really fast before we end today and find out where everybody can find you all. Let's go ahead and start. What is going on? Who is that? This is an emergency. We need your Twitter handles right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my God. An ambulance. An ambulances often come down our side street because we okay. live, unfortunately, we live near a nursing home. So Okay, okay. Oh. Cool. Well, uh, let's go ahead and go the other way around from myself. Uh, so we will start with Amanda. Please let everybody know who you are yeah. and where they can find you on the interwebs. And let us know if there's anything you're up well, to. Well, you can find me down the street from this nursing home <laughs> listening to lots of Please sirens. Please don't go trying to find um, Amanda and her Don't hometown. find Amanda. <laughs> no, don't come find me. Um, I, uh, uh, yeah, you can, I'm mostly on Twitter. Um, there is nothing to put on Instagram at the moment that is super interesting. Uh, so you can find me there at Geek Powers. Um, I don't really have any other like streaming shows or anything like that, but. Um, that said, I, I think that there's something, uh, ch ch uh, send me a, a notification in chat if it's okay for me to tell them the thing, Dom. Um, but yes, go ahead. <laughs> So Amanda Geek Powers, cool. The All thing. Right, uh, yeah, no, that's yeah. me. That's me and me and Buffy. Yay. All right, and Randy. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm Randy Alvarenga. You can follow me at uh, Roller Raja. That's R-O-L-L-E-R-R-A-J-A. -R -R uh, I'm new to Twitter and I would like a lot of friends. So if you are you are into that, please help me learn Twitter. You're great at Twitter. What are you talking about? You managed to stay away for so long. I had a Japanese Twitter for a long time and then oh. came to America and was like, uh, it's a little bit different. And so then. <laughs> oh, no, over. your Twitter is garbage here. <laughs> Definitely, if you're not following Randy on Twitter, you absolutely should be. He is a delightful human being. And uh, yeah, go follow him on Twitter. Thanks. Um, and Max, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on the same Twitter website um, at Brosis Movies, like brother sister movies. Uh, you know, for any weird ramblings or trying to eat a god every once in a while, and all sorts of other weird stuff. <laughs> And I am Aki. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram if ever there is a life to put on Instagram again at mixg in a bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. Um, and uh, this Sunday, you should definitely swing back around to Saving Throw Show for a new episode of New Pantheon Academia, which I am in along with a lot of other really awesome people. Uh, it is uh, the storyteller is Stephen Pope, who is great, um, and our cast is also very awesome. That will be on Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific time, right here uh, on Saving Throw Show. And of course, we have a lot of other really awesome and incredible content that you should definitely support and come and watch. Uh, but uh, until next Wednesday with our second episode of Dialect. This has been All Games No Masters. Remember, you do not need a GM to play an awesome role-playing game. You just need a great table with great friends and your own imagination. Until next time, see you later. Goodbye. Don't be a sinker. Yeah.